Wisdom, the final frontier to true knowledge. Welcome to Wisdom Trek, where our mission is to create a legacy of wisdom, to seek out discernment and insights, to boldly grow where few have chosen to grow before. Hello, my friend. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your captain on our journey to increase wisdom and create a living legacy. Thank you for joining us today as we explore wisdom on our second millennium of podcast. This is day 1277 of our trek and time for our three minute mini trek called Humor Unplug. Our Thursday podcast will provide you with a clean and short funny story to help you to lighten up and live a rich and satisfying life. Something to cheer you and provide a bit of levity in your life. We are told in Proverbs chapter 15 verse 30, a cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. We are also encouraged in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Consider this your vitamin supplement of cheer for today. So let's jump right in with today's funny, which is titled, It is the Results That Count. Pastor Joseph Snow dies and is waiting in line at the pearly gates. Ahead of him is a guy dressed in sunglasses, a loud shirt, leather jacket, and jeans. St. Peter says to this guy, Who are you, so that I may know whether to admit you into the kingdom of heaven? The guy replies, I'm Joe Cohen, taxi driver of New York City. St. Peter consults his list. He smiles and says to the taxi driver, Take this silken robe and golden staff and enter the kingdom of heaven. The taxi driver goes into heaven with his robe and staff, and then it's the pastor's turn. He stands erect and booms out, I am the Reverend Joseph Snow, pastor of First Baptist Church for the last 43 years. St. Peter consults his list, and he says to the pastor, Take this cotton robe and wooden staff and enter the kingdom of heaven. Just a minute, says the pastor. That man was a taxi driver, and he gets a silken robe and a golden staff? How can this be? Well, up here we work by results, says St. Peter. While you preached, people slept. While he drove, people prayed. I hope that brought a smile to your face today. If it did, pass that smile on to someone else. We could all use a good smile each day. And our Thursday thought is, we're called to be faithful to take those first difficult steps, and then to leave the result up to God. And our verse for today is Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. So those who are last now will be first then, and those who are first will be last. And just as you enjoyed these nuggets of humor, please encourage your friends and family to join us and to come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past 1,276 daily treks or read the wisdom journals, they are all available at wisdom-trek.com. And I encourage you to subscribe to Wisdom Trek on your favorite podcast player so that each day will be downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. And as we take this trek of life, together let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward. Enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow for Philosophy Friday.